Hello everybody and welcome to this online Python programming course. Now before we begin with the actual coding, let us talk about a few stuff such as for who is this course and what we will be doing in this course. First of all, what we are going to learn in this course is Python 3. Now let's get that out of the way right away. The reason why we are using Python 3 is because it is 2019 today and basically next year uh, the Python 2 will be going out of date. Basically it will not be in usage anymore. Therefore what we want to do is we want to learn a Python 3 programming which is similar to Python 2 if you had any experience before with the Python 2. The syntax is rather similar except in some functions and some different things that we're going to cover of course. But most of the time it is rather similar. We're going to use Python 3 as I said because that is something that is going to be used next year. Uh, basically every Python 2 platform will have to update itself to the Python 3 and therefore we are going to download Python 3. But more about that in the next lecture. First of all let us talk about for who is this course. Well for example if you're a student and you want to learn some Python programming this will be a perfect course for you because we're going to cover uh, everything from the very beginnings of Python programming to the some more advanced stuff later on. Now nothing really too advanced because this course is mostly um, aimed towards the beginners. We're going to cover everything from basics in great details so you can understand Python programming at a whole nother level. Now of course even if you want to make this your career and become a Python developer or basically web developer with Python, uh, you can take this course and you will learn a lot from it. Now we know that there are a lot of subjects covering Python such as web developing, scripting, networking in Python, uh, writing simple programs, writing something that will automate different tasks and so on and so on. We will cover all of these things. But first of all, we will be downloading the Python 3 for our Windows 10 machine and also for the Ubuntu and Mac OS. Now, I will show you how to download for the Ubuntu and Mac OS, or I will show you the commands that you will use to download. Uh, but we will be mostly coding in the Windows 10 environment. As you can see right here, I have a virtual machine, a Ubuntu, vir Ubuntu virtual machine, which we are going to probably use uh, later on for something such as for example networking where we are going to need two machines to communicate with one another. But as I said before we are mostly going to use the Windows 10 environment. Now in the process of installation of Python 3 I'll show you on all three platforms how you can download Python and how you can start it up. So that will be about it for this introductory video. Uh, nothing really more to say right here. Let us get right into programming and in the next lecture I will explain a little bit about Python, what that is and we are going to also download Python 3 for our Windows 10 environment. Hope you enjoyed this first lecture and I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!